Some days your motivation might hit snooze and never show up. But guess what? You still can. Because it's not about waiting for inspiration to strike. It's about showing up. Rain or shine, mood or meh. Consistency doesn't need perfection. It just needs you putting one foot in front of the other, even if they're both dragging. And that's where the magic happens. You're right, my name is Daz and welcome to Stories for the Subconscious, where I want to help people to reprogram their subconscious minds so that they can basically reprogram the life for the better. Today we're going to be looking at consistency and showing up even when we don't feel like it. Oh and stick around till the end. If you stick around to the end I'm going to give you a nice brucey bonus tip of how you can help yourself to be able to create this consistency, this pattern, this unfamiliar pattern, what is going to become part of your life and I'm going to give you a great tip, a great tip on how you can prepare yourself to be more consistent on whatever you want to do, whatever tasks or goals you want to achieve. This applying this method, this simple technique will really change the game for you. So stick around to the end and I'll be telling you what it is. You know, showing up, even when you don't feel like doing it, is probably one of the most powerful things you could ever do. It's probably one of the most important things you can do in your life as well because it requires a lot of things. It requires grit, determination, consistency, resilience, and literally the right mindset and self-discipline requires a lot of things to push yourself, doesn't it? Especially when, you know, it can be all warm and cosy in bed and the alarm goes off because you said the day before you was going to get up at four o'clock or five o'clock. The alarm's gone off, you can hear the rain pelting down outside, smashing against the guttering and stuff like that. And you think, fuck me, why did I agree to do to this? Why did I agree to do this? But, if you just hear the alarm go off and literally just push yourself and get out of that bed and get downstairs and do what you were supposed to do, yeah, it'll feel hard, but over time, if you keep doing that, you'll feel absolutely fantastic inside. Because it can feel like fucking climbing a mountain, can it? Another day of facing these challenges, this massive mountain to climb, you no motivation is there, you feel like fucking shit because you might have eaten shit the day before, yeah, when that's, you've spent all night fucking digesting this food, this junk food, and you feel awful, you've not slept right, and you're like, fuck's sake, do you know, it's make or break time now, I've made this promise to myself, am I gonna do it, or am I gonna do it? There's the fork in the road, innit? There's the crossroad. Which one, which side are you gonna go over? But, I tell you what now, right, if you stay on the other side of things, when you get that familiar feeling and you've procrastinated and you've not done the task you said you said you was going to do, I tell you what, as the day ticks by, the clock ticks by, the hours go by, you're going to feel like fucking crap. You're going to feel like absolute rubbish that you didn't do what you were set out that you said you was going to do. And if we let this happen, we fall into that familiar rut, that familiar... You know, if you've done what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. Nothing changes if nothing changes. You'll be in that familiar sort of pattern again and thinking, oh God, do you know, how am I going to get through this? How am I going to do this? Maybe you can wait for the motivation train to arrive. Choo, choo, choo. Remember the motivation train? Have a look at my video about self-discipline and motivation and you'll see about that. Motivation is hardly ever, if ever, going to be there. So then what are you going to do? Yeah, but if you keep turning up, if you keep showing up when it's cold outside, when it's raining, when you've not slept very well, when you just feel down in dumps, when everything life has thrown at you is just fucking getting you down. But if you keep showing up, if you keep whatever it is what you're doing, if you're creating the YouTube videos, um, if you're going to, uh, I don't know, if you're creating the YouTube videos, if you're dieting and exercising right, if you want to attend that important online seminar or whatever. I 
I remember when I was getting back into content creating as well as dieting and exercising again because I literally had well a lot of time off from them the content creating was two years and uh, the exercise you know I seemed to fall off the wagon around Christmas time and I didn't quite get back on the wagon till about I think it was about June or July this year where I started again but again, I'm going to tell you how I managed to be consistent within the content creating and within my exercise and diet routine. So stick around to the end. But it can be daunting, can't it? It can be daunting to get back into things what you've left for a long time. And you get that feeling like, oh, I've left it too long or I'm put on a lot of weight or my strength will be gone to exercise. Um, I definitely don't want to go to the gym. I just feel daft attending. Um, or I feel daft going back and doing content creating now when I told people two years ago that I was going to be doing this and now here I am again only just getting back into it it can uh, you can feel a bit daft about it can't you but the thing is with these things as long as you remain consistent and keep doing it time after time after time and time again that's when it becomes a habit that's when it becomes a habit and habit can take anything from about you know as little as a month to well, as long as it what it takes to, to rewire a new subconscious habit because these old habits, do you know, with just eating junk food or, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, um, or oh, diet starts Monday, all them sort of familiar things, they've all been deeply ingrained subconscious habits, what you've put in there over time. They didn't just go in your mind overnight and then that was it, that familiar pattern and behaviours was just there. It took time to cultivate them, even though they don't save you. It took time to cultivate them patterns and habits into the subconscious mind. So it's going to take time to cultivate some good habits, some positive exercise, like some positive exercise, some positive habits to get into the subconscious mind, like dieting, like exercising, like doing your content creating or whatever you want to achieve. Your art, your writing, your working on a project, you're creating a new business. It's going to take time to get that to be a habit. But one of the things what can help cultivate this is consistency. Is to keep doing it day after day after day, even when you don't fucking feel like it, you don't want to do it, or things ain't quite worked out, or it's just you've uploaded a rubbish piece of content, or the exercise didn't go quite as well as according to plan, or whatever it may be. You just keep showing up time and time and time again. Look at all the people what have been a success in life. I'm just swapping my arm again. Still can't find my bloody tripod and it's, it's hurting me arm holding it like this. But um, look at all the people, all the big players in the world, all the big millionaires and stuff. Like that. Do you think they felt like doing what they was doing every single day? Do you think they just turned out and everything was smooth? They had the right amount of sleep? The digestive system was all behaving through the night? The mind was all switched off? They haven't had an argument with a spouse? Everything went smooth that day? So then it goes smooth every day? did it fuck there would have been days where they really didn't feel like it and it was stressful and they've had about 60 minutes sleep and they just feel all over all sorts do you know what i mean but they just kept on doing it because they know that every day is going to be good but not every day is going to be bad it comes in troughs and waves doesn't it? it just up and down that's the nature that's the cycle of life but if you keep being consistent hey no matter what when it's raining when it's cold, when you're tired and you don't feel like it, right? Magic will be begin to happen in your life. Because magic is in the in the unknown. Magic is in the uncomfortableness. You don't get magic doing what you've always done. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. Yes, it may be warm and cozy in that comfort box, but is it serving you and is it helping you to achieve your goals and dreams? Probably not. It's just the familiar, isn't it? This nice little cozy familiar box feels warm. I can just watch telly. I can do the nine to five. I can eat what I want. Is any of that fucking serving you? Is that going to get you to the 2.0 version of you? No, it bloody well isn't. And another thing what people are stuck on, they're always waiting for that perfect moment to start. Do you know, oh, it's not quite right. Oh, I haven't got the, quite, the, the right software or the right gym equipment or the right food in to start a diet or the right 
etc or I'm not feeling too great or something like that there'll always be something fucking in the way because that's just how life works there's always something going to be in the way there's never going to be a perfect time to stand so whatever you want what you want to do or what you want to achieve or what you want to even start on just fucking start now do it do it and over time you can craft your skill you can hone in on your skill and you'll get better and better and better each time but if you keep waiting for that perf perfect moment for arrive, I've done a video about striving for perfectionism. Check it out, please. Um, check it out in my other videos. But if you're always waiting for that perfect moment to arrive, you'll be waiting until you're on your fucking deathbed, and then you'll be buried six feet under, and it still won't have arrived. Because perfectionism and the perfect moment doesn't exist. So just start whatever it is doing and make small steps small achievable steps towards that goal and over time with consistency and commitment and turning up it'll get easier and easier and easier the problems will still be there problems will still arise but it'll be your mindset what will be able to see through the problems more easily and just keep going no matter what storm hits you in the face just keep freaking going and showing up, showing up, say it's showing up to do a bit of content creating, to do a bit of meditation, to do a bit of exercise, even when you don't feel like doing it. Do you know what? That'll also help train your mind and train your mindset to be able to do other tasks what you don't feel like doing, other tasks when you don't feel like doing it. And overall, all this unknown, but you still keep doing it anyway, will drastically and magically change your life and mindset because you'll be able to achieve anything you put your hands to because you'll realize that as long as i keep being consistent um you know god universe whatever you believe in likes to see the beauty of its creation which is you yourself so if you're striving to keep doing no matter no matter how you feel you know and you just keep going you keep showing up you keep being consistent you keep showing a commitment towards it the universe god or whatever you believe in will meet you halfway because it's seeing the true beauty of its creation because you want to be the 2.0 version of you. And that's what God or the universe or whatever you believe in wants. It wants to see the best possible version of you. It doesn't want to just make this creation, just make this creation of a person. And then all of a sudden you're just on the couch, you know, eating yourself to death, watching Netflix and stuff. I can imagine this supernatural power, whatever you believe in, looking over and think, what the fucking hell is this? What the hell is this piece of shit that I've created? I tell you what, we need to get rid of this person, and then before you know it, they're having an heart attack from overeating, or, you know, from being lazy, they've been ran over by a bus or something like that. Harsh truths in that, but the universe wants to see its beauty of its creation. Because that's how the more people who reach that 2.0 version of self, the best possible version of self, the more we can change this into a really beautiful place to live. Instead of trampling on each other's heads and or just settling or society's telling me to be like this and eat this and do this and do that. You're just ending up like a bloody automaton. Just someone who just goes through the motions and do what everyone else is doing. That's why there's only a small percentage of people who are really successful in life. Because they've done what others didn't tread to do. You know what I mean? They've gone through the uncomfortableness. They've stayed consistent. They've shown up when they don't feel like it. And that's what separates them. And it's going to separate you from the rest of the sheep, from the herd. Now, once again, I'm not saying this is going to be easy. It's going to take time, patience, perseverance, and self-discipline. But if you keep being consistent and showing up, even when you don't feel like it, believe me, the magic will truly happen in your life. And that's how I believe that the true, the true nature of manifestation works. You can put your intention out there. You get the thought, the idea to marry, to match the attention. And then the synchronicities start happening in your life. And it, you choose the path of least resistance. But you've also got to take massive action. That's the missing piece. It really is. I mean, just look at my videos, peeps. More often than not, they're just filmed on a phone. I ain't got a fancy camera. I've got a webcam. Do you know, 4K webcam, what I use, or oh, I use my phone. Hey, but, so the videos look quite raw, do you know what I mean? I do use a bit of a sound effects at the beginning and at the end, um, along with my sort of uh, subconscious stories for the subconscious sort of thing, what I've created on Canva. But this is all minimum stuff. Minimum stuff, what anyone can afford and, and can get it to free, 
obviously not the phone and stuff, but do you know what, all the effects and stuff, and I do the basic editing and stuff, because I, I do believe I like watching raw videos, and I think when you do it raw, um, without all the fancy big studio and stuff like that, um, I think people can relate to it more, because they can see, look, this guy is a person who's on this journey as well. This is the guy who was practicing what he's pre preaching. This guy is striving to be the best possible version of himself. He's not quite there yet, but he's given us a lot of helpful tips and solutions to get us to the 2.0 version of ourself. As long as you put the effort in, the leg work and the ground work, you've got to put the reps in. That's another thing about consistency, rep work. Whatever it is, if you're working out, or you're doing content creating, or you're a writer, or you're an artist, or you want to create a business or anything like that, it's about being consistent with reps as well, isn't it? The more reps you put in, let's just put it as simple as working out, the more reps you put in, the more steps you put in, you do this week by week by week, you're going to see a big change in your body, aren't you? Same as you would in your work, same as you would in anything you put your mind to. It requires reps, consistency and commitment, doesn't it? And not giving up. Sometimes, you know what I mean, sometimes I can put videos on there hardly getting any views. And I do believe sometimes it's like the universe, looking, you know, universe with all its power, with all its might, thinking, is this guy ready to content create yet? Is he ready? Let's just see how he reacts when he's not getting any views, when no one's paying attention, when no one's even clicking on his videos. Let's see if he still carries on. Oh, he is still carrying on. He's still putting in the reps, he's still putting in the hard work, he's still being consistent, he's still creating self-discipline, he's still going for it. I tell you what, I'm going to meet him halfway and I'm going to make sure this guy achieves what he's setting out to do. And I strongly believe I will do. I strongly believe I will be a popular content creator on here about mindset and all the other stuff. What I want to do. I really do. But I know I've got to keep going with massive action and consistency and having self-discipline to keep doing it when I don't feel like it. So, how do we overcome these challenges? Well, first things first, you need to set clear intentions of what you want to achieve today. What tasks need to be done? Be specific and make sure those tasks align with your long-term goals. Create a schedule, self-discipline, a daily routine, as I call it, and then, and then just stick to it. It's easier said than done, but trust me, it's worth it. You know, start small too as well. Don't try to tackle the world in one fucking day. Break down your tasks into little manageable truck chunks and focus on the, the progress and not perfection because it doesn't exist. And here's the key. Consistency, like I've mentioned before in the early part of this video, is the key. It's not about being perfect. Is this video perfect? Now I've changed from angle to angle to angle because it's hurting me fucking hand. And now I'm sat on the couch like a sideways sort of view. Is it perfect? No. Am I going to keep doing it? Yes. Can you see where the magic is? So it's about showing up, showing up every day and doing the work. I want to share a little story with you as well, because I used to be one of them persons, them people, not long ago, who would set these grand goals for myself only to fall short. I'd then get discouraged and then, of course, I'd give up. But then I realised that it's not about achieving perfection, it's about making the tiny steps, making the little tiptoe progresses. So I then started daily intentions. And you know what? It changed everything. I started to see more results and more importantly, I started to fucking believe in myself. For example, I wanted to start meditation practice but just couldn't get into it. So I set an intention to meditate for just five minutes a day. That's it, five minutes. And you know what? It worked. I actually started to enjoy it. It's become a big part of my life now. Sometimes I do it for 30 minutes a day. The point is, it's not about the big goal. It's about the small, consistent actions you take every day. So I said I'd, I'd give a little Brucey bonus tip at the end, and I? So here it is, right? You may have heard it all before, but this is a thing what keeps me on track. So say if it's for me content, and I know I've got to do some filming the next day, I will literally get out, whether it's my camera or the microphone, um, which I'm not using today, or even an outline, a plan, some bullet points of what I'm going to speak about, and I'll put it on my computer desk, ready so I can see it the next day. I'll create the thumbnail. I'll do it the night before. I've created the thumbnail already for this video, so I've created the thumbnail. 
um, and I've got a rough idea of what I want to talk about. I've done the keyword research, the search engine optimization. Yeah, I'm preparing. So today it was all prepared for me to do this video. Um, and if it's a working out, you know, to create an exercise routine. Um, I work out from home and this is how I do it. I've got some equipment, some weights, some resistance band, but even your own body weight. You know, whatever it is, how you're going to work out or a five minute video, what you're going to follow on YouTube to start off with, whatever it is. So what I do before I go to bed, I'll get out my working out clothes, my shorts, my t-shirt, my trainers. I'll keep them in the kitchen. If I'm using any weights, I'll set the weights up. So what I'm going to start off with, if it's resistance band, I'll get the resistance band out. You know, just them little small preparation steps can work wonders. You know, and whether, you know, if you want a diet, it's about prepping the food. Maybe you can prep some the night before. Or I literally do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat rather about tea time anyway. But what I'll do is when I cook my tea and stuff, I'll then prepare my um, porridge with my protein powder, what I'm going to eat later on and stuff. So it's about prepping in advance. And whatever you're going to be doing, if you do these little tips, if you, you set up things the night before... Or put things in place, even if you go to the gym, as much as getting your gym gear ready in the bag, already packed, ready to go, ready in the car. You can get your pre-workout powder ready to take on the side, or your protein shake, or whatever you do. If you do these little small actions every day, you'll be more willing and more wanting to do the task at hand. If it's to do with like any business goals or anything, to, you just write down a bullet point the night before. And then have a little think and reflect on that. And then the, the, in the morning, you'll have a blueprint. You'll have an outline of what you need to do. Okay? I'm telling you, peeps, this works. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what works for you. This actually works. But it's all about turning up. It's all about consistency. It's all about being there with your daily intentions, even when you don't feel like it. Remember, the key is to focus on progress, not perfection. Taking small, consistent actions every day, and trust me, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. Okay? Oh, if you want as well, what I'll do, what I'll do is when you get to the end of this video, after I go until next time, right, just let it play through and there'll be some more videos to watch, some more helpful videos to watch on some really amazing things what can really help change your mindset change your life and tell yourself a better inside story better inside stories equal better outside life anyway thanks for watching once again guys um, that's it for this week's subconscious story i really hope you enjoyed it and you've got some value from it once again and if you have please like share and subscribe as it helps the stories to thrive stay alive and get into that subconscious mind until next time.